Hi there, welcome back to DM Keith Skoda in Wakefield. Today I'm going to be showing you around Yankee Charlie 72 Oscar X ray hotel, which is this gorgeous Skoda Kodiak Lauren and Clement edition. It's a two litre diesel four wheel drive DSG automatic with 200 brake horsepower, and it is a magnificent car. It's got every spec imaginable on it. It's very, very well built and just fantastic. I'm going to show you around it now, show you some of the features. Immediately, you can see it's this lovely black magic metallic paint, very, very nice looking. You can see we've got the nice chrome emblems everywhere, subtle hints to it being a Lauren and Clement. You can see we've got the sunroof open there, the panoramic glass sunroof. I'll show you that from inside. But first we'll start with the 19 inch alloy wheels, nice five spoke design, all in excellent condition, very very well looked after. You can see we've got nice chrome window surrounds, nice tinted rear glass as well, it's a very smart looking car this. This car was a demonstrator car, and now we've got it back into stock, and you can see we've got the 4x4 four four badging there, and the individual Skoda lettering on the back. If I show you in the boot, You'll find it is seven seat configuration as standard with these. Got one up, one down, so you can see the height difference. Underneath here, you've got storage for the parcel shelf when the seats are up, and you've got a space saver wheel and all the accoutrements with it there too. Just put this back down. Forgive me, it's quite hard, difficult one-handed. There we go, you just tuck that under there. And you're back in. Then you've got usual shopping hooks, you've got lighting here. Another shopping hook on this side, 12 volt charger socket, and obviously it is an electric boot as well. I will show you how to get into those seats. So once you're in the back here, you just pull this tab here, slide in, and then it's just a case of climbing in. It's a very roomy car back here. I'm six foot tall and I have just amount, just enough headroom in here. The seats do in the middle row all fall forward as well. So you've got a bit more leg room back here, but it's still very comfortable back here as well. And then climbing out is just as easy as well. Then we push that back, like so. Of course, you've got the filler cap on the driver's side as well, as standard with these. And I'll show you those seats now. You can see we've got uh, these keyless, when you've got this here, it's keyless entry on all four doors and boot lid. And of course, as you can see in full detail, these black leather seats, full leather in excellent condition, barely been used. You've got your two and a half cup holders here that double as an armrest or a third seat. You've got ice fix point on the right and left hand side. You've got lovely carpets down here as well. Another 12 volt charge socket here and door uh, pockets in the backs of the seats as well as door pockets either side as well. And you can see there, full panoramic glass roof with the sunshade just open for the front section. That can be fully open so it's nice and light in here as well. And as we move around to the front, where it looks particularly smart, you've got a lovely full chrome grille, got nice daytime running lights, and of course front fog lights just in the corners here as well. Very smart looking. Then as you step into the driver's seat, again it's nice and luxurious up here as well. You've got these lovely supportive leather seats with the nice Lauren and Clement uh, badging on them as well. Very supportive. You can see with these little holes on here that they are air-cooled. I'll get to that in a minute. I'll show you the roof from here. It's nice and airy. There's two buttons here, as you can see, you've got your control the glass slider roof there, and also this one to control the sunshade, which for the sake of the video quality, I'm just gonna close now. Just like that, nice and smart. So as you can see, we've got 7,513 miles on the clock. You've got virtual cockpit as well, so you can change what you see in the middle. I've got it set to navigation, so you can have the map in the middle as well. Uh, you've got uh, indicators and lights uh, flashing on the left-hand side, wipers front and rear controlled on the opposite side you've got dynamic cruise control or adaptive cruise control down here very nice feature on the steering controls you've got song and radio selection volume control voice control and heated steering wheel you've got flappy paddles and then these buttons as well to change how you view the center and also so you can choose if you want lane assist on side assist you can turn all of these rear traffic alert front assist and all these so you can turn them off should you wish to Infotainment wise, I'll show you that you've got obviously navigation, you've got Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as standard, you've got Bluetooth connectivity for your phone and music, uh, usual FM and DAB radio, driver assistance, so you can see we've got blind spot monitoring, lane assist, forward collision warning and adaptive cruise control there. And what else have we got on here? Oh, uh, the, my favourite feature of these, if you press this button, all around cameras and parking sensors, so you can even tap on which one you want to see properly which is a very nice thing to have especially on a car of this size very very practical 
Then with the buttons down here, you can select drive mode. So being four-wheel drive, you do have a snow mode. And with the button here as well, you also have an off-road mode, which is very, very handy as well. Moving down, you've got all your air conditioning. It's a dual climate control system, so it can be controlled independently for the driver and front passenger. Uh, you've got your heated front windscreen as well, which is very, very good in winter. And then you've got not only heated, but cooled seats as well, so you can have them hot or cold. Very, very nice. And that's for both of them. They are electric memory se uh, seats on both the front seats as well. As you can see just there, very, very nice. Then moving below that, you've got your stop-start control, your button to turn on your uh, cameras. It will do it automatically as you put it in reverse. Uh, hazard lights and lock and unlock. If you put the car here, you can see you've got wireless charging, two USB-C ports and a 12 volt charger socket behind this nice cover. Then the DSG gearbox. So it's a seven speed gearbox. You can manually lock it in a gear and change with just the flappy paddles. If you have it over to the left, put it into reverse, of course it brings up the cameras automatically. Seven gears, nice and smooth through all of them. Seamless changes. Below that, you've got your off-road mode setting, your drive select mode. Uh, auto hold function, so basically if you're as if you're driving with a normal handbrake and you stop on a hill and put the physical handbrake on, that mimics that, and traction control as well. Then below here you've got your usual storage for a Kodiak, but the cup holders in this entire part is removable should you want it as a fully enclosed storage space, but then this also doubles as an armrest, which is very handy. Then with these cards, with Kodiaks, you get Two glove boxes, very, very handy, and this one air-cooled as well, so you have a valve here to have air blowing in or not, so you can keep the contents cool. You've got all electric window and mirror controls, including electronic folding and heating. A boot release uh, button here, so if you pull it once, it will open. If you then hold it, it will start beeping and close the door, and then you'll hear a clunk and a lock once it's closed. Then here, you've got your automatic lights with rear and front fogs, like so. Got stop start, uh, your keyless start here as well, forgive me. And all in all, it's just a fantastically well-spec car and a great looking car. I'm going to open this again. You've also got your buttons for your Skoda Connect controls. So if you are interested, please do feel free to visit us at Denbydale Road, Wakefield, WF27AW. Or alternatively, give us a call on 01924 246 900. Thank you very much for your time. You take care now.